Hey, let me ask you something. What if you could just type a short description and instantly get a full video with characters, effects, and even a complete storyline? Would you believe it? If you're looking for powerful AI tools that save you time, help you create content faster, and even open doors to making money online, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. And make sure you watch until the very end because I'll show you a feature that can literally make you feel like a movie director. Let's get started. Today, we're going to dive into Sora, OpenAI's brand new AI video generator. So, what exactly is Sora? It's a tool that lets you type in a description, like a wooden cabin in the forest, or toy characters dancing around, and it will turn that into a video that's anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds long. Perfect for shorts, ads, storytelling, or just experimenting with creative ideas. All right, let's head over to Sora's official page. You'll see some basic information. And up top, there's a menu bar with sections like features, pricing, and more. Click on pricing. There are two options. ChatGPT Plus at $20 per month, which gives you 1,000 credits, around 50 videos or the Pro Plan at $200 if you're producing a lot more. Personally, I'm using the Plus Plan, and I think that's the most reasonable choice for most people. Now let's open up the Features section. This part is awesome. You can see videos generated by other users. You can even filter them by day, week, month, or all-time top rated. When you hover over a video, you'll see the exact prompt they used. And here's the cool part. You can copy that prompt to use in your own projects, or simply get inspired to write better prompts. You'll also find options like Remix, Edit Prompt, or even Storyboard, which I'll cover in detail later. Next, let's switch over to my personal library. It's empty right now since I haven't created anything yet, but this is where all your videos will appear later. There's also a Favorites tab, an Upload section for files, and an Archive for past projects. Ready to create our very first video? Let's do it. Before uploading, you'll need to tick a few boxes. Things like no adult content, no violent images, and no real human faces. Once you check those, hit accept. Sora will also remind you that it currently doesn't support generating videos with real people. If your file has faces, it just won't work. Just click got it and continue. OK, I'm going to upload an image now and set the aspect ratio to 1 to 1, square. Of course, you can also go 16 by 9 for widescreen or vertical for shorts, chas, TikTok. I'll choose 720pi for better resolution and a 10 second duration. Here's the prompt I'm using. A foggy abandoned house with ghostly shadows flickering in the windows. Click generate video. And let's wait a few seconds. And here we go. The video looks pretty good. The fog effect moves nicely. But I don't really see any ghostly shadows in the windows yet. So let's hit Remix and adjust the prompt to show ghostly figures inside the windows of a wooden cabin in the fog. Sora gives me two new versions. Looking closely, I can see faint shadows now. Still not perfect, but much better. That's the thing with AI. You often have to experiment and refine to get the best results. Now let's try something more colorful and fun. Stuffed animals, superheroes, and dolls dancing together on top of a skyscraper with neon lights. I'll pick a vertical ratio for shorts. This costs about 25 credits. The result? Honestly, not great. The lighting and reflections don't look realistic. 
and the composition feels weird. This shows that complex neon effects sometimes confuse Sora. All right, let's go cinematic. Two lovers meeting at an empty intersection under flickering streetlights in the rain. Aspect ratio, 16 to 9. Duration, 10 seconds. Click Generate. And wow, the atmosphere is amazing. Dark, rainy, dramatic. This one really feels like a movie scene. Now for my favorite part, the presets. These give your video unique styles. Archival, old documentary film look, scratched and faded. Film noir, black and white detective vibe with harsh shadows. Cardboard paper. Everything looks handmade, like paper cutouts. Whimsical stop motion. Playful puppet style animation. Balloon world. Everything looks like inflatable balloons. I'll run the same prompt through each preset so you can see the difference. Some of these styles look surprisingly beautiful, especially film noir and archival. Finally, let's talk about storyboard, hands down the most powerful feature in Sora. This lets you create multi-scene videos, with each shot having its own prompt, aspect ratio, and duration. For example, I'll make a three-scene mini-ad. And yes, you can even use ChatGPT to help write the prompts. Click Generate, wait a bit, and bam! We've got a complete mini commercial. You can remix each scene, tweak the timing, or even loop the video forever. So, what do I think of Sora? Honestly, the potential here is huge. The visuals are impressive, the presets are fun, and the storyboard tool is incredibly powerful. Perfect for ads, short form content, or storytelling. Of course, there are still limitations, especially with character movements, and you'll need very clear prompts to get consistent results. But overall, this is one of the most exciting AI tools I've seen and I believe it's only going to get better from here. If you've tried Sora yourself, drop a comment below. I'd love to see what you created. Woo! And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe, and share this with a friend who's into AI. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.